Today, I'm gonna show you how you can create your own custom Twitch offline screen if you own Photoshop or even if you don't own Photoshop. Hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. So you might be noticing something a little bit different. We are not sitting at the normal desk. I am tired of sitting at my desk. I know I've said this in multiple videos that I just wanna be able to shoot videos wherever I want. I don't wanna have to rely on sitting behind my desk at my computer for making videos. So today we're out in the main part of the basement. We've got the regular desk here and we've got the new MacBook that I unboxed in a recent video on my channel. If you haven't seen that, I'll put a link up in this corner, I believe. Yeah, 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 that corner. So a bunch of videos in the future are going to be filmed out here like I've said in the past but we're still going to do videos behind the desk every once in a while but today's video is only inside of Photoshop and a couple other things so I can do it all on the laptop and we're going to be doing that right now. Today we're going to be making Twitch offline screens for when you are not live on Twitch and a lot of people don't really think of Twitch offline screens when they think of graphics packages they think of alerts and overlays and camera borders and stuff like that but you think about it you're offline more than you are live on Twitch well I guess there might be some people that stream a ton but you're most likely offline more than you are online on Twitch. So an offline banner is going to be seen every single time somebody goes to your channel and you are not live. So an offline banner can be extremely valuable for your Twitch channel, and we're gonna be making one inside of Photoshop. But if you don't own Photoshop, I'm still gonna show you how you can get an incredible custom Twitch offline screen without Photoshop, without any program, and it's utilizing today's sponsor, placeit.net. But we'll get into that later. For right now, we're gonna jump inside of Photoshop, and I'm gonna show you how I go about creating graphics like a Twitch offline banner. All right, guys, so here we are inside of Photoshop. I've just created to open up a new document. We're gonna open up this size right here, 1920 by 1080, and we're gonna leave it at the 300 PPI pixels per inch. But we're gonna create the most important thing about that is the size, 1920 by 1080. That is the size that you need for this offline banner. And the way I'm gonna get started is actually leaving Photoshop. One thing that I really like to do when creating graphics like this is check out stock footage sites such as Pexels. So Pexels is an incredible place to get free stock photos and graphics and stuff and I like to just type in like background and if you go through the backgrounds you'll see you can get some incredible assets here to create some awesome twitch graphics so let's see this is a really cool photo actually that is awesome so we want to grab this and create our graphic around something like this and trust me you don't need to use something like a landscape there's all kinds of stuff I don't even know what you could search to get everything let's search like paint if you search paint, you see you can get some really cool styles. We might actually use a paint thing like this right here is awesome. Okay, I got an idea. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this paint right here. So you're gonna click free download and you see you can just cancel out of that and you get your download right there. Let's go back to what we searched last time. Let's search background again. There we go. Scroll down this one here and let's free download that one as well. Cool, so now we've got our downloads and we're just gonna bring these inside of Photoshop. All right, so there's our first photo here. We're gonna scale it up a little bit just like that. That is looking cool. And now let's go ahead and bring in that second photo we grabbed, just like that. There we go. So we're gonna hold down shift and rotate this to where it goes long ways. We're gonna scale it up to fit the entirety of the composition. And this is gonna add like a little bit of a brush stroke effect to make it look like the photo underneath, make it look like this photo is actually painted. So we're gonna grab this one, select it, and we're gonna go up here to our, um, to our overlay settings and we're gonna find which one would look pretty cool. As you can see, you can kind of just go through all of these and figure out which one looks nice. Ooh, that one looked pretty cool, soft light. Hmm, let's keep looking. Actually, you know what, let's try hard light real quick. Even though that looks kind of crazy, what you can also do is lower the opacity of this top one a little bit to get a little bit of a brush stroke effect, just kind of like that. Makes it almost look like this one has been painted, but I kind of want to add a little bit more to this as well. So I'm a little bit of a color splash. So we're gonna head back into Pexels and grab a couple more assets. Let's see what we can't find. This is pretty interesting actually. So see, you can grab stuff like this and then you can just bring it in, do the exact same rotation thing we did. And you see, we get these really crazy paint lines going across. And as long as you scale it up to be the correct size, let's go ahead and actually shrink it down a little bit like that. You can then once again play with the, uh, the blending modes over here and we can get some really crazy looking stuff. That's pretty interesting right there. Let's take this back up to 50. Look at that, there we go, oh my gosh. So there we go, we're gonna set this one to color just like that and it makes it look like we just have this little splash of color going on. Maybe take down the opacity a little bit. 
nice. So as you can see, you just want to kind of layer assets. You can go to Pexels, you can go to all sorts of free stock footage sites. Make sure you're getting them that are actually free, not just ripping them off of uh, off of websites that you're not supposed to get them for free. You're supposed to buy them. Make sure you're actually using free assets. But you see, you can just layer all sorts of assets to get really cool ideas, but you don't even need to use um, stock assets. You see, we can just like draw a rectangle and see if we can just add a gradient here. And the gradient is kind of like the gradient that I use for all of my thumbnails and all my designs, this blue to pink gradient. And then we can just kind of rasterize this, rasterize the layer styles, and then maybe set this one to overlay. Let's see, that looks pretty cool. But as you can see, now we're starting to bring in a bit of my branding into this. If I were to actually use a background like this, we start to bring in my colors a little bit so it's not just a random photo. That's pretty cool right there, actually. I'm gonna leave it there, hue. That makes our colors show up inside of the colors of those paint splotches. There we go, look at that. There's the Bravity colors inside of those paint lines that we had. So now it's actually starting to look like something from my branding. So if we go ahead and take the text tool now, let's make it say Bravity M is now. Let's go ahead and begin our offline design here. What kind of font do we want to use for this? Let's see. Let's use Roboto. I really like Roboto. So we're going to grab that. Now let's go ahead and shrink this down. So we've got the Bravity M is now. We're gonna leave that nice and small. I like using a thinner font for this top one. So like that there. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna type out our off line just like that. And then we're gonna make this one set to black. Beautiful. And we're gonna take this one and we're actually going to free transform it and scale it way up like this. Just like that, we're gonna nice and center it directly under our Bravity M is now. Kind of like that. I actually wanna make it a little bit smaller since our background's so cool. I don't wanna take away from the background as much. Beautiful. Now we're gonna grab these two texts at the same time and we're gonna move them around so that they're both centered just like that. And there we go, that's a pretty cool offline banner there. As you can see, this is a very stylized look, having the photos in the back and all the crazy colors, but that's kind of like what I like to go for when it's something like this. It's very eye-catching. It's not just a bland color. You could easily just like grab a rectangle and then add the gradient to it like we did before and then throw this underneath it just like that and call it good. And that's typically what a lot of people do, but why not take it a little bit further and add some cool stuff to it? We could even take this rectangle here and now just like drop the opacity of it. If you wanna have just the photo be like very slight, just kind of like that. Um, let's add a little bit to our text here. So the offline especially, let's double click here and maybe add a bit of a drop shadow to it. That's already looking pretty cool. Let's adjust our angle to go that way a little bit though. So there we go. Now we've got a bit of a drop shadow behind it. Let's do the same thing to the Gravity M is now add a little bit of a drop shadow. We're gonna have to adjust our specs here for this one like that. Bring our opacity up maybe. There we go. So now the Gravity M is now has got a little bit of a, a drop shadow, but there is our offline screen. If you want to take it a little bit further, which I highly recommend you do, I would also grab your Twitter handle. So at Gravity M. Um, and throw that down at the bottom as well. So let's go ahead and make this the same Roboto black, just like that. And what you can do is grab that. Then you grab the Twitter logo. I would grab the Twitter logo, but since I'm on my MacBook, I haven't gotten all those logos yet on here. This MacBook is still brand new. I haven't gotten all my graphics and whatnot that I typically use for my videos. But we would grab the Twitter bird, you know, and throw it right there next to the Bravity M. And then you can just line up all of your socials at the bottom along the lines. You can even put your socials up at the top like this. And then down at the bottom, maybe put your schedule for how you're, when you're going to stream. So let's put just live. And what we're going to do, I'm going to do this really quick and dirty. So let's say you're live on Mondays. And then what we're gonna do is after Monday, we're gonna go ahead and hit tab a couple times to move forward. And then let's add the little line. So it's kind of like under the, the backspace key and you hold down shift, let's add the line. And then let's say you're live Thursdays. Then the tabs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Line, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you're live Saturdays. If I just guessed somebody's live schedule, you're welcome. So that would be a cool way to do your schedule down at the bottom, just like that. Maybe we could add another line underneath the live to separate it out a little bit, but live Mondays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and then put all of your social medias up at the top. I don't know, just jump into Photoshop and mess around and create an awesome 
offline screen. This one is already pretty cool. I need to replace the offline screen on my Twitch as well, so I might even throw this one in there. But as you can see, you can just mess around and it's really cool and really easy to make an awesome looking offline screen that is really eye-catching just like this one right here. But let's say you don't own Photoshop and you really want to create a custom offline screen kind of like this. That is where today's sponsor comes in. This portion of the video is sponsored by Placeit.net. Placeit.net is incredible. It is a website where you can just create all sorts of overlays and graphics for your Twitch channels and your YouTube channels, and you don't need any programs. You don't need After Effects. You don't need Photoshop. You don't need an editor. It is all done using their smart templates inside of Placeit.net. And right now, in the description, you can get a subscription to Placeit.net for 15% off their already insanely affordable prices. So we're going to jump into Placeit.net real quick. Let's go back to the... Uh, back to the interwebs. So this is place it right here. And the way you want to do it to create an awesome offline screen is you want to go up to gaming here and you can see right away up in the corner, Twitch offline banner. So let's click that one there. And it's going to take us to all of their smart templates that you can choose from and customize to create something cool. And as you can see, they've got some impressive designs. These are really freaking cool. And if you hover over them, you can see all the different styles you can get if you jump in there to edit them. As you can see, if we keep going over this one, it keeps changing to do stuff. That one's actually really cool. Um, let's see what we want to do. This one. I like this one a lot because I love the city in the background. Look, it says even up at the top, Cyberpunk 2077. So you can get Twitch offline graphics or just Twitch graphics in general based around games here as well. So that is really cool. So Broken Future is offline. We need to go over here and change that to Bravity M is now offline. Gravity M, not N, just like that. Beautiful. And what we want to do is we actually can change the text colors as well. So let's change this to be more of a gravity in blue. Let's change this to be more of like a gravity in pink. Cool. Let's change our social logos to be the kind of gravity in blue. Beautiful. Accent color. Mm. Maybe like a teal. Oh no, that makes our text disappear. Wait a minute, let's do that. But then let's change our text to be white. Ooh, let's change our icons to be white. Now we are getting a gravity color here. And as you can see, we've got this city background here, but if you come down here, you can actually change this to be all different kinds of cool photos here. And look, you can even upload your own one. You can upload like your logo, create a cool background and then throw it in here. But I actually really liked that city one. Oh my God, that'd be really cool if you played like Grand Theft Auto. That's incredible right there. But I really like the city one, that's the one that drew me in. But as you can see, we have already got this entire thing customized to me. You can come down here and you can even change these to not just say Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, obviously. You can have this say like, at Gravity M. There we go. So as you can see, I haven't changed them all, but you can change these to say at Gravity M. You can change the colors in the back, you can change the photo in the back, you can change the color. This doesn't even need to say offline. You can bring in your own graphics here. You can even open up a new template if you start to design it and you don't like how it looks. But there it is, Gravity M is offline. And when you're done doing that, guess what you do? You come up here to this purple button, you hit download, and it starts downloading. That's it, look at that, processing your design and they just email it to you when you're done. That is it, and it, take, it takes no time at all. Like this image is going to finish processing in like 10 seconds, 15 seconds. It is, and there it is, it's done. It is impressive how quickly you can get custom designs without owning a single bit of software, all using placeit.net. So make sure you dump down to the description, even if you own Photoshop. This isn't just for people who don't own Photoshop. Let's say you own Photoshop, but you don't want to go into the, the details of creating something that looks this good. Just go to place it, 15% off an incredible monthly or annual subscription with the link down there. And you can get started with placeit.net with unlimited downloads. You could rebrand your entire Twitch channel and your YouTube channel just using placeit.net. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the different setting here, not me, me being behind the desk constantly and working on the laptop instead of on the desktop. I hope you enjoyed this video where I show you how to create awesome offline banners inside of Photoshop and inside of placeit.net. Keep in mind, when you're streaming on Twitch, you're not streaming as much as you are offline. So your offline screen is literally on your channel broadcasting more often than your other overlays are. So quit forgetting about Twitch offline screens and make one incredible. But that is pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.